for today's adventure. It is quite the adventure indeed. Hey everyone, it's Tashu. Today's adventure brings us to Cosby, Tennessee to the Smoky Mountain Llama Treks. And I'm not doing this alone. I have brought some friends along. We've got Hi. Dawn from What About Dawn and Yankee in the South. South. And over here we've got, let's see, got Chris and Mindy from Chris About T-Shirts. And there's a guy behind us, Will from Yankee in the South. <laughs> so are you guys ready? I am. Okay, so this will be an adventure. So our adventure starts here. Llamas are part of the camelid family and are related to alpacas and vincunas and camels. I like your shirt, Chris. Thanks. You excited? I'm nervous. Yeah, we didn't oh. You won't get spat on. Okay. Hopefully I can make it through the hike. Oh, you will. It's only a mile and a half to two miles. All right. Will, you've never done this before? I never trekked a llama anyways. Uh, no, I've never done this before. Uh, we actually saw llamas going up to Mount Lacan. They use llamas to take supplies. Up to the Mount, up to Mount Lacan, and but this is the first time we're gonna be trekking through. Well, the Smokies here, walking our own llamas. These are not the same llamas though they used to go up to Mount Lacan. It's a different group. But, yeah. Did you know that they had the llama treks? Yeah, yeah, I knew they were here, but I just the first time ever. So yeah, should be fun. Yeah, these are beautiful animals. Well, he likes you. Yeah, she, uh, yeah. coming over to see you. I smell graham crackers. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pretty one. Yes. Don't eat my hair. Hi. Well, good morning. Here's a couple of dogs here who, I guess, keep watch of the place. Good morning. There's another dog here too. Hi bud. Right there. Beautiful out there. <laughs> Here's a group that came before us who got to walk with the llamas. Okay, the llamas are being called to feed. Hey, we need your buddy. Where's your buddy? Careful of him, he will spit. Um, <laughs> it gets really rough up there in New England and okay. you're not doing doing right. those kind of miles up there. It was there and you had to go through it and it was the slowest mile. <laughs> but uh, I talked to my buddies. I was the guy that we're probably within 10 miles. When I got off, he got off. He broke his leg and he went back the following year to finish. And I would do the PCT. I would totally do the PCT. I'll tell you what, but what I know, I would do the PCT before I did the AT. Oh, okay. oh yeah, it's beautiful. 
Everybody I know that everybody that I just told you about yep. that I hiked with, they all did the PCT. The Continental Divide is the only look like, and you're hoping that it's out there, but mm. it's that way. <laughs> well, then what are you going that way for? Nine times out of ten. I'm going to introduce you to the gang. This star of the show is Bob Marley. <laughs> uh, Bob is definitely not living up to his uh, name. He is wild and crazy. Um, I'm going to boot him out here in a minute. You don't want to walk up to him and put your hand in his face. Well, actually, you don't want to put your hand in any of the llamas' faces. They're not appreciative of that. But uh, if I have one that's going to spit, it's him. Um, yeah, yeah, move on. This is Curly. Curly is Ambassador Curly. He is super nice and friendly. Walks pretty slow. He's awesome. He's also got a nickname of Houdini. He has found his way out of here. Um, behind him is Leonardo. And we have another white one that's out in the pasture. He's a monster. Hey. Um, this is Maximus. Hi, Maximus Zerilius. From Gladiator, right? Yes, I have no favorites. <laughs> um, this is Oscar, not the Grouch. Oscar, the Union President. And then Curly, Curly, Oscar, and Maximus are my Navy SEALs. They had a very hard job before they got here. They climbed the third highest mountain in the National Park called Mount Lacan. They have a hiking lodge on top of Mount LeConte. And in the spring, they will use a helicopter, drop off all the supplies for spring, summer, and fall. But they use a llama train every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to bring up fresh bed linens and perishable foods. Their hike is over 15 miles, 6,800 foot elevation change. 34 up and 34 down. It's not a little up and a little down. And uh, they carry 40 to 60 pounds of gear. Uh, this is Izzy. Izzy's an old man. He's a really nice old man. He's really good. Um, this is JJ. And I can officially tell you he is the oldest llama here. He has a birth certificate. He's 19 years old. Oh, wow. They live somewhere between 19 and 21 on my farm. And uh, his dad was a show llama, had hair all the way to the ground. I had no idea that I knew his dad until after he had passed away. And then I found out what his name was. It was Excalibur. I'm not sure how you go from JJ or Excalibur to JJ, but. <laughs> um, and then back there is Blackjack. Blackjack is royalty. I know we had Queen, uh, the Queen over there. Well, Blackjack's mom and dad were grand champion show llamas. He went from royalty to peasantry on our farm. <laughs> and then uh, two alpacas are out in the pasture. We have peanut butter and jelly. So a little bit about llamas. Llamas come from South America. They live in the Andes Mountains. They are in the camelid family. There's five camelids in the world. You've got the camels for riding, the llamas for packing. The alpaca are a little shorter. Um, the alpaca and the vicuña are raised for their fiber or their hair. And there's a guy called a guanaco, and they pretty much run around in the wild. Um, the difference between a llama and an alpaca is basically three things, size, ears, and fiber. They're half the size. They have twice as much hair. And then their uh, ears are like my German shepherd. They go to a point where if you happen to look at a llama at some point when their ears are up you'll see banana shaped ears uh they so these have are llamas right the ones in here yes okay. yep these are all llamas okay. right here uh the llamas all the camel heads have two toes they have a very large stomach it's divided into three chambers and they chew their cud like a cow and a goat and they eat everything from the grass to the trees in the summertime all my trees are at seven foot and above before you see greenery. Llamas, they have teeth in the lower jaw only. They have a hard dental plate across the top, and then they have molars top and bottom that break up their food for them. And if you see some llamas that have like, you think, man, he's got some big buck teeth. It's really not the teeth, it's that his lips, they have split lips. If you, most people know camels having split lips. 
they will uh, they have a split lip that sometimes has a gap like we have people that have gaps between their front teeth well they have gaps between their lips and that allows you to see their teeth more than the others so that's why these are beautiful animals yeah look at his teeth pretty cool He has a passion for yeah. He has a passion for livestock. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I... Look how beautiful. <laughs> Look at the years. Look at that. And here's Steve putting a harness on him, getting ready for llama trek. Yeah, just don't touch him in the face. Curly. Beautiful, Beautiful teeth. What do you use with the fiber? Do you sell it to spinners? I have. Um, I don't like have a market, so it's kind of like hit, hit or miss. And I sent two carloads to Michigan uh, last year to a friend of a friend that spun. I said, whatever you do, don't tell them how much is coming. <laughs> And I, I was told this so one jelly. is their only llama with blue eyes. I don't know if you can tell or not. I know a lot of guys, you know, in the middle of summer, I'll sit here and I'm like, look, I know how it works. You just see the guys. You can read it on their face. They're like, oh, so what sweet. do you think? Um, you like them? I got so many stories. Like, yeah, I like it. We did our You're not so nervous now, are you? Train ride in Bryson City. Okay. Oh, and, uh, the two <laughs> oh he sees my graham crackers. Well, I hope I don't get a dud. He gets to Washington. He doesn't look him up. He's out in the front lawn putting out white chairs. And over on the ground, Ford's looking down. Look, is that you? He's going to get a kiss there. Yes, sir. You're not on my TV. Because by the end of the day, you're on my They business. love graham crackers. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> he told me after all we were done, he goes, I don't oh, have I one. He goes, no, sorry. Oh. Go <laughs> over there. No. I was out doing a hike. This isn't a graham cracker. He wants my phone. Come on over here. You come over here, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go get a graham cracker. Uh, yeah, you never know. Try to save one for this guy over here. He's, he he's shut. He, he wants one too. <laughs> you but push. Just push him. Just push no, him. That's all good. Come yeah. over. You found friends, huh? <laughs> That's the dog's being on too. I know. We're getting graham crackers. See, I got this. Look at You have a thing for graham crackers, don't you? <laughs> 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 and this will be my llama he is a for this boy. trek. He is He's eating a graham cracker yeah. I gave him. I've got the shy one, Leonardo. Chris has blackjack. Chris, you've got blackjack. Blackjack's a fun one. Yeah. Okay, hey, ready, Leonardo? Let's go. Come on, Leonardo. Let's go. So this is our expedition. Will and Dawn are in the front. Chris and Mindy are next. And I'm behind them. How you doing, Leonardo? Me too. Look at all this beautiful forest. Mindy, how do you like having a llama? I love it. Uh, I so can't, I won't say that. Chris, how are you doing? According to the guide, Popcorn Sutton used to live 10 miles this direction. Pretty cool. So Leonardo is leading me right now. Look at the view. 
the mountains and llamas. This is pretty cool. Look at this bridge. What do you think, Leonardo? Pretty cool, huh? Well, Chris about t-shirts kissed a llama. Watch out, Mindy. I think they're engaged. So Leonardo and I and the gang, we've all made it to the top of the ridge. Now we're just walking, heading down. And Chris's llama blackjack is stopping for a snack. I'm gonna call mine snapjack. <laughs> snapjack. <laughs> Mindy, what's the name of yours? JJ. Oh, JJ. And then Leonardo. Look at his eyelashes. Those are cool. We were told that a lot of these are retired llamas from Mount Leconte. And so they're used to walking these trails. Leonardo's taking a snack break. And in case you were wondering, the view is great. Over there is the Smoky Mountain National Park and the Appalachian Trails over there as well. What a view. And I get to see it with llamas. What do you think, Leonardo? We're now reaching the end of the trail. We're heading down. You ready, Leonardo? It's getting rainy. I think he's ready to go back too. I'm going to walk in the rain. At least I get to do it with a llama. Let's go, Leonardo. Here we are. Leonardo and I completed the trek. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did this. Come on, Don. Go over there and get some graham cracker. Uh-oh. Thank you. That's it. Oh no. Fun over. So there's Curly behind me, and over here we have Dawn, Hi. Will, Chris, Mindy, and Steve with who's this? Oscar. Oscar. So what'd you guys think? Did you have fun? Oh yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. It's one of those things you gotta experience in person. Yes. Yeah, I mean, to get the full experience, but yes, it was great. Yeah. Yes, it was wonderful. I want to thank Steve for being a great guide and thank the llamas for being themselves. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And in the description box down below, I'll have links to my Teespring and my PayPal and my Patreon. So till next time, this is Cashew with What About Dawn, Hi. Yankee in the South, and Chris About T-Shirts, signing <laughs> off. Llamas! Oh no.